with ensuing a lot of family violence calls. Monday morning, Brownsville police arrested 26-year-old Benito Alvarado after he threatened his common-law wife with a knife and then held her down by the neck after she refused to be intimate with him. Not far was an eight-month-old child. Alvarado was charged with assault by strangulation, unlawful restraint, and endangering a child. Brownsville investigator Ted Torres says it's one of the many family violence cases they respond to during the holiday season. Eventually, it would lead, sometimes it will lead to bad recollections of memories and uh, would ensue a lot of family violence calls. It's been a traditional thing this year in particular because of the economical uh, crisis going on. But it's not just feuding couples that tend to get into a lover's quarrel. On Christmas weekend, a Cameron County Sheriff deputy had to be rushed to the hospital after he was stabbed in the thigh when he responded to a fight between two brothers. Torres says sometimes, even if people don't have a violent history, the holiday season often has the right combination for disaster. For the most part, alcohol is involved, and once we get there, again, we don't know what we're, we're facing. It can be anything from alcohol use to drug use to flat out just being upset. And although these calls may seem to be as simple as breaking up a family feud, Torres says they are actually some of the most dangerous for authorities to respond to. We have no idea what's going to happen. We have run into incidents where we respond to a call, assist the victim, and while we're making that arrest, the victim herself turns against police. So we just never know.